What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham Origins Series 2 Firefly figure. Uh, I know this has been a long time waiting. Uh, I did finally just got to him now. Uh, I actually had to send this figure back because he had a broken leg syndrome. Ugh. Broken leg syndrome. Excuse me. Uh, I was having trouble talking there. Um, his uh, while I was actually shooting the original review, which was probably over a month ago, uh, <laughs> his leg, this uh, left leg, decided to snap off. Now this is a new one. Uh, Big Bad Toy Story actually sent me a new one, and uh, no harm, no foul there. Obviously, it was probably just a faulty figure, or whatever. But uh, I was none too happy when <laughs> when the leg snapped off. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Here is Firefly. This is the final figure in the wave. I'm sorry it took me so long to finally shoot this review and get it done. Uh, you guys are probably over it by now, but <laughs> oh well. Um, but here it is. Here he is, actually, in all of his glory. I don't have his packaging anymore. That thing is long gone, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's long gone. But uh, the wings are detachable. Uh, they have two pegs in the back hole, which I will show you right there. Very easy to come off. And there's just a little hole in the back. Come on, Anthony. Get your lighting right. Uh, there is the peg hole in the back, if this thing wants to focus. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. Um, uh, his, uh, his gun is just kind of attached to his back portion here. Um, I would have preferred some sort of container here. Maybe it's just all hooked up to his suit. I under understandable. Um, or maybe the air intake is flowing through here and causing combustion. And then he's got his, I guess he's got a tank right there. So that, that does make sense in a, uh, in its own way. It just looks kind of funky. Just kind of attached to his back like that. But, oh well. It, it, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just nitpicking. <laughs> When it comes to for, uh, form and function, I guess. So it just does peg right in the back, and I am babbling. Sorry, guys. And uh, just just peg like that. He's uh, a little bit back heavy, but uh, these wings are they're they're not they're not heavy for him. He can stand, as you can see. I have no hands. I'm just kind of. There you go. Just he's just standing on his own. Um, actually, the hardest part about this figure is having him hold the gun. Now he does have a trigger finger here, which uh, a lot of people don't realize. He actually does have a trigger finger. It's right there. Um, now the pain in the rear end part is that he really doesn't, it, his trigger finger doesn't, it sits in there well, but it doesn't really hold the, uh, the bulk of this gun too well. Um, and he's also got some strange articulation. Uh, now, I still do like this figure. This might be the only Firefly figure that we probably are ever going to get th that's close to a 6-inch form. Um, I yeah, He's not really in scale with uh, DC Universe Classics. Like I'll just bring in the next figure because th I'm going to review this guy next. Uh, here's Parademon. Now, he is way bigger than Parademon. And... Uh, <laughs> he, he towers over Parademon, but I guess if you still want to display him with like your Batman Rogues Gallery, if you want to, if you're doing that sort of display, kind of like what I'm doing, if you have him on like a flight stand or something like that, or maybe just hanging off uh, uh, some some wire or something like that, and he's in maybe like the background or something, he can fit in, I think. Um, but you know, it's to each their own. Who cares what other people think with your display? Because it's guess what? It's your display. If you want to display a DC Collectibles figure with a DC Universe Classics figure, then by all means do that. To each their own. Um, uh, but anyway, I, I digress off that subject. Um, as far as his articulation goes, there is no articulation in the. Uh, wings as far as uh, movement wise they don't really move besides just pegging into the back I guess if you want to call that articulation I, y you could but I, I don't really count that uh, as far as his head it's very minimal because of his suit and I don't mind that that's fine he's not gonna really move his head that much anyway he's got burns over 90% of his body <laughs> So the suit is kind of uh, holding him from everything, including infection. But you can jiggle his head up, move it uh, around about fashion. There you go. And then uh, 
as far as his arms go, that it's very strange the uh, articulation and range of motion in him. Um, now I, uh, hey. <laughs> I'm gonna go through his articulation, but I'm gonna do it in a slow pace. Just and the only reason I'm doing it is because I think it might only be with. DC Collectibles likes to put this clear plastic in their joints. I think it's to save on costs, or maybe the whole mold is clear, and then they paint over it. I'm not sure. But their joints are all clear plastic. We all know that clear plastic is very fragile. So you got to be very careful with their joints. And I think it's only with the video game series figures that they use the clear joints. I could be mistaken, but if I had to guess, I think it's only these type of figures that they use the clear joints because it seems like the regular DC collectibles figures they don't have this problem um, at least as far as that I've owned I haven't had a problem with with joints cracking or breaking on the regular DC collectibles comic book style figures but anyway I digress off that and his arm does move forward and back it's very stiff and I don't like to move these joints so I'm gonna try and be as delicate as possible his arm does move up about that far um, it does have a single bend at the elbow he does have a elbow because there's no um, there's no bicep swivel he's got an elbow swivel here he does have a, a wrist swivel but no hinge which is very odd to me so he's kind of just stuck in this uh, one shot pose and he can't really hold his gun in that hand um, as far as his legs move um, now this is how the leg broke off last time I started trying to move these legs and they don't want to move forward or back at all they just want to kind of sit so I mean you can get a little bit of motion in him but he's not the best articulated figure um, he's got a single bend at the knee and it doesn't go up very far and no ankle articulation no nothing at all so um, but as far as his gun goes, I just kind of have him holding it like this, kind of like he's using two hands on it, and I just kind of call it a day as far as um, him d d being displayed with his gun. Um, but he does have some really nice sculpting going throughout all of his body here. Let me just get him in here. As you can see there, He's got these nice grenades that are painted and sculpted. Uh, actually, these might be smoke bombs here, and those would technically be the grenades on the side. Moving along to his back portion, um, I would say there's a lot more detail in the front. Um, more so because there's a lot more going on in the front. But uh, on the back, it still looks pretty good. He is a very well-detailed figure. Um, I just wish his articulation was a little bit better, especially if you're trying to get this guy into flying poses. He kind of just needs to hover like this, I guess. I, I kind of have his knees bent a little bit like this, so he's kind of like, looks like he's floating or hovering with his gun in his hand that likes to fall out every two seconds, but he's still a really nice figure. Um, I don't want to take anything away from him, even though I did have a QC issue with him. I'm just kind of giving you guys an overall look while I just chatter on. Chatter on! But uh, <laughs> his wings here are painted in this nice yellow, like, uh, kind of, oh, there goes a wing. That's okay. The wings pop off and tend to do that, but they just pop right back on. No problem at all. Just kind of have to give him a little bit of a forceful, 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 oh, forceful push and that's about it but uh yeah so there you go there is firefly he looks great and he definitely had one of the best boss battles if not the best boss battle in batman arkham origins in my opinion um let me know down in the comments below what you guys think what was your best what was your favorite boss battle in batman arkham origins i think mine was firefly i think that he did it for me um but other than that, there's not really much else to say. I'm, I want to recommend him. He's got QC issues. I had to send one back. Uh, so be forewarned with that. He doesn't have the best articulation, to be honest with you. But he is probably the only Firefly figure that's close to a 6-inch scale that you're going to find. So with that being said, uh, this is ODC. That's me. Um, 
with the uh, this is my review of uh, the Batman Arkham Origins by DC Collectibles Firefly figure I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you for watching and as always I will see you guys on the flip side